Hi, Ace Eagle here again. Today I'm going to show you the secret of the magic box, which connects this Aerodyne Special, a 1920s battery radio, which is playing. Local station 1460, we'll turn it down. It's playing through the magic box to a modern speaker with 8 ohms. You need the magic box so you don't blow out the speaker. So in this particular case, the Aerodyne Special has a jack that connects it to a speaker, regularly an old horn speaker, which have terrible sound and they usually don't work. So here's the jack, it's just a regular jack. Let's just open it up and see the connection. I soldered on two different wires, there and there. Okay, let's close that up again. There we go. So let's take a look at the magic box. These two wires will be connected to a small output transformer. So here's the small output transformer. The primary winding should be about 100 ohms and the secondary one or less. And usually the secondary are either black or in this case green and white leads. The primary, the hot leads, are usually red and blue as they are in this case. So the jack then is connected to the primary, about 100, 100 ohms, give or take. And then the primary will pass the signal to the speakers through the secondary windings, which are connected here. And on my magic box I've got these running out to a speaker. So today I've just got them connected through some alligator clips to the back of the speaker. This is an 8 ohm speaker. It's amazing the sound you get if you use a, a large, I've even had it up to 15 inch speakers. You get pretty good sound from these old, old uh, radios. Let's turn her up a little bit. Simon and Garfunkel playing. So once again, there's the Aerodyne Special, 1925 radio, runs by tubes, 201As, through a modern power supply, which replaces the batteries. Playing through the magic box, no longer magic since the mystery has been revealed, just a small output transformer connected to a modern speaker. Casey Eagle saying goodbye for now.